Hey guys, in the last video we created this basic little game so that after a few seconds there we can catch the little present. It's a pretty basic game. Let's add um, an antagonist. Let's add a bad guy to our game to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. So we're going to add a new sprite. Make a new sprite. When the game is run, don't want it to be a bunny rabbit. That's not very scary. So let's go into costumes. Let's choose a new costume. These are our existing ones. Let's add a new add a new costume. Let's go back to emojis. This one. Now we could draw and add things to this, but he looks good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change his eye colors to red using the paint bucket. And I'm going to add an extra little bit of an eyeball. That needs a pen. That looks pretty good. So we'll change our bunny rabbit to this little guy. Yeah. Um, I think he's a little bit big for this game, so I'm going to make it smaller. Set size to 50. Remember to change the emoji or the Character, the costume, I should say. These are called costumes. Size 50 is good, 50%, smaller than the original one. Yep, I like that. That's good. Maybe not, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's go 60. Yep, I'll do. Okay. I won't agree with that, of course. Now, we know that when we touch the present, then the present's going to jump somewhere else. But we also want to add another when touches. So let's go to um, events. It's an event. So another one of these. When our main character touches the, the enemy, what's going to happen? Well. You could add a score, but we'll do that for another video. But for this game, we'll keep it fairly simple. We're just going to make him have a little reaction when he hits the bad guy. So let's add a behavior. Where is it? Under behaviors, we go sprite begins. And the behavior we're going to choose is, we can do jittering, fluttering, Thinking, spinning left. So let's make him spin right. Let's see what happens. Now, my common mistake, you always have to change that sprite, not to a bunny rabbit, but you have to change that sprite to what you want to spin. Now, do I want the bad guy to spin? Do I want the enemy to spin? Let's see what happens. No, that's not what we want. We need to go back to the sprite and we change it to our main character. So now he's going to keep spinning forever. Do we want that? No. So what we can do is when we touch the present, he can stop spinning. So let's go back to... Um, Events, no, behaviors. Sprite stops. 
change it to our main character. When we touch the present, the sprite will stop spinning. Spinning right. Let's run that. It's a little weird. So let's tweak that a little bit more. Spinning right probably isn't the best idea. Let's go back to behaviors. Let's go wobble. Fluttering. It's pretty good. That'll do. I think I'm happy with fluttering. So we need to change this action here, or behavior I should say. Get our fluttering, put that in here. So when it touches the present, it will stop fluttering. Now, the bad guy just sits there. So we need the bad guy to move around. Let's go to the Sprite begins. Now, we don't want this bad guy to start moving around at the start of the game. We want him to start moving around once our title screen disappears, that's when the game starts. So we're going to achieve behavior after the three second rule, if you like. Actually, I'm going to change that from three seconds. I think that's too long. Let's go two seconds. Okay, so we'll change this to our bad guy. And what is he going to start doing? Let's go back to our behaviors. What if we put patrolling? What would that be like? Pretty easy, easy to get past him. So let's change it from patrolling to something else. Let's go wandering. It's a little bit more random when you have a wander. Better. Now when we touch him, he starts shaking around a bit, and when we hit our present, he stops. So that's that game done. In our next video, we are going to add a score.